looking the brightest on my camera being able to be adjusted because it is very very dark I am just doing my makeup as you'll be able to tell by the title I'm going and I'm moving into my new flat in Edinburgh today which is just insane it's gonna be an insane next week to be honest I'm there for about three days and then I'm coming back home because I have a dentist appointment and then I am moving in the rest of my stuff so basically the flat's not going to look um, done this time around it's probably going to take quite a while for me to feel like I can do a full uh, tour but I will give you guys a little tour though I'm basically leaving most of my clothes and my makeup and stationery and this time I'm taking down like most of the kitchenware like things that I will actually really need and then just enough of everything else to do me for a few days but yes it's early it's quarter past six and I've well it's quarter past six now and I've been up since five so I'm pretty tired because I couldn't really sleep last night I think a mixture of excitement to see the flat but also uh, just a bit anxious about how busy today's gonna be but yeah I am looking forward to finally seeing the flat. I'm watching Jamie Genevieve's vlog while I get ready and I knew she was like in the area that you know I live at home but she was literally in the place I live here. I'm just a bit like you know like when the chances of you seeing someone is so slim anyway but I'm still like oh I wish I'd met her. I think it's also meant to be really quite warm today. I'm not ready for it. I now need to finish all those last little bits of packing the little last things. I'm gonna walk the dogs up to granddad's and I'm gonna get on the road. Plan is to go to Ikea first because I can't pick up the keys till between one and half one. Do that. I need to ask the estate agents how I go about transferring over like who pays the bills and all that jazz because I've only ever known student accommodation. My mum hasn't rented anywhere for years so I don't really know what happens with that. It's such a busy day. Hey guys, so we're now on the road. Uh, it's like 10 to 9. Where even are we? Um, near Blair. Near Blair, if that makes sense to anyone. House of Brewer. House of Brewer. And yes, I feel like this is the only relaxing time I'm going to get off the whole day, so I'm trying to chill. Um, I feel like I've filmed this journey about a million times, but probably still do a little montage and then yeah, we're gonna go around IKEA, get drawers and just things I need, and this lighting's mad, so I'm gonna go, but I'll film some nice clips hopefully. So maddest thing just happened. This morning I had to walk the dogs up to my granddad's because they're staying there all day. And there was this little dog like running behind us, like I didn't realise it that the guy was trying to catch it. Um but basically this woman came up in a car and they were both trying to stop this dog. So I was speaking to them a bit. And we're like, I don't know, two hours plus away from home right now, like where I was this morning. And we just pulled up to a service station and the, the same couple was in the car next to us. And I just think that's freaky, weird, like how is that even possible? I don't know. It's just strange, but yeah, we're getting there. Probably going to be at Ikea around 11, then need to pick up the keys at about 1-ish. What if I wake up happy? And what if I wake up sad? Sorry if I said something, something that made you... We went the wrong way around this bit. I ended up driving towards Glasgow then had to come all the way back. Now we are stuck in a horrendous amount of traffic. Yeah, we were meant to be there 15 minutes ago and we're not gonna get there till another half an hour. So I've called the state agents and they said it's fine if we're not in our slot to pick up the keys, but I just feel bad because I hate being late, but never mind. We finally have made it. Ok, 
okay so we're in it was quite stressful we couldn't find the estate agent but we found it got the keys uh, i'm not gonna show you guys around right now because it's a bit of a bomb site i mean it is always going to be a bomb site but um it's nice yeah i'm happy with my room it's nice and light and i actually have more storage space than i first thought so yeah we all ended up getting one set of drawers in ikea which i think was a good decision uh, i haven't eaten anything all day so i think we're gonna go try and find some food and i'm gonna get um some cloths and things to clean hey guys so i'm on the floor and I am making some dreaded IKEA flat pack furniture. I'm about to give up um, for the night and watch Love Island and then go to bed because I'm so tired. Um, I know I haven't vlogged much since I kind of moved in. Honestly, just trying to unpack as best as I can, but it's difficult because I'm moving in in like two halves. Um, but yeah, it's been going good. I love the flat. Uh, I love my room, I'm re like obviously I need to make it my own, like this pattern on the bed, got to go, um, but yeah, I am really happy with it. I will give you guys a little overview when it's kind of somewhat more sorted because right now there is flat pack furniture everywhere. Okay, right, what, what the hell do I do now? My mum was like, oh, you can employ like a handyman to make up your furniture. I was like, I am no quitter. I'm going to make the furniture. So I feel proud when I've made it, but there may be some tears along the way. I'll probably film a time lapse of me finishing these drawers tomorrow. In fact, I will, provided I'm not crying. My other flatmates, by the way, can't move in for another like two weeks. So I'm here on my own for a little while. Uh, but I don't mind, it's fine. Uh, obviously I'm sad they can't move in today. It would have been lovely to have a proper like flat warming party, but in a way it's good because I can just get in and get my stuff settled. Like I think three of us trying to move into the flat, like bring up stuff in one day would be a lot. I probably had enough of this now and I'm gonna finish it in the morning. I'm gonna sit and watch Love Island now. I got from the shop a little uh, plant chef hoisin um, vegan duck wrap. I got some new pillows in Ikea. Yeah, basically I got a set of drawers, some new pillows because my old ones, I washed them and that wasn't a good idea. Uh, but these new pillows are so high up. It's quite funny. Um, and just some extension cables, things like that. It wasn't really exciting. I'm worried this vlog's gonna be boring, but like, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of exciting moving into a new flat. It also feels weird because I've been so used to living very, well, not even centrally, I'm probably more central now than I ever was, but I've always lived like pretty much on a main road. And where the flat is now, it's kind of tucked away. So it's so quiet and I, I, I could forget that I'm in Edinburgh. I don't know if I like it, like half of me, does but half of me used to like hearing the buzz of the city um it's just different something to get used to good morning everyone it's just gone six um i ended up waking up uh, around five naturally and i just have so much to get through today and i couldn't really get back to sleep that was like you know what i'm just gonna get up i do look exhausted and i'm gonna look very exhausted for the remainder of this vlog um, but I have got a load of Ikea stuff on the floor and my goal for this morning is to get that built. I need to sort out contents insurance, I need to sort out looking into getting Wi-Fi and I need to look at, I need to look at the inventory that we've been given and I need to cancel tax exemption because we're all students, but I have a feeling I'm gonna need some Morgan and Emily's details to apply for that. Yeah. Oh, also, I don't know if I showed you guys this, right? But this was on the door, my door, of um, the flat. And mum just ripped it off. And I was a bit like, what if it was meant to be there? And then Morgan told me it's in the inventory. 
does that mean like it has to have stayed on the door but i can't understand like surely this is just from someone who lived here before like it was literally stuck on with blue tack so i have no idea <laughs> disaster so I have built something this is what I've built and now you might be thinking oh I thought you had a chest of drawers that's meant to go there yeah yeah so basically I'll show you guys the drawers that I was aiming to build today <laughs> these ones so essentially these three drawers is what I thought I was building but instead I was building these, which I think because basically on Ikea it tells you what boxes you need and where they are and I was picking between two options and I think I read out these and got these instead of these because I'm a fool and I didn't fully check. But it's fine. I need to get the top and the bottom for that. I was considering getting another little thing of drawers anyway so it's not the end of the world it just means i can't build the chest of drawers today so i can't unpack any of the clothes that i've brought which my perfectionist brain is like oh my god this is a massive issue like, i had a big meltdown i started crying um because i hate mess being everywhere and i hate things not being finished realistically it is fine but yeah but my first night's sleep here i don't even think i said about that it was fine I am the kind of person where like you can put me anywhere and I'll sleep like fine. I don't ever have an issue sleeping. Touch wood and very, very grateful for because yeah, I really feel for people that struggle um, to sleep. Right, I'm now just getting ready. It's been quite a while since I last filmed. I don't, I'm not actually too sure. I think I last filmed this morning and it's now, where's the time? One. Um, I was really doing nothing worth filming. I will show you guys the kitchen area later on, um, but I haven't quite finished putting all my stuff away and it's just a tip right now. But yeah, I have just been like doing council tax stuff, inventory things. I did sort the Wi-Fi. that's the only one of the things I've been doing that's actually like done and sorted. So that felt good. And um, inventory is nearly done, the council tax things. I need some of my friends details before I can finish it. Um, but now I basically got a text to say that the delivery that I'm waiting on um, will be here between 4.25 5.25 so I'm going to go out now and get I want to get some nice dinnerware from Anthropology I'm wanting to do this for ages and I've decided now's the time I gave all my plates from last year to charity uh, and I just want to have a nice little set <music> I was gonna film like my bag and walking back but the bag was so heavy and then I got a call from my Amazon delivery guy being like I'm outside how long are you gonna be and I was like about 10 minutes so he waited for me which was so nice for him but I had to run home and when I came in the door and looked at myself like sweating buckets <laughs> was not cute. On my way home I picked up some sushi uh, bento this is a veggie, like, crispy onion sushi. I really like their one where it's, like, sweet tofu or something like that. It's sweet, but it wasn't there out. And 
here is my question. This is probably a stupid question because I feel like you can, but see if you go into a sushi place where things are like, you know, can be picked up from fridges. If something you want isn't there, can you ask for it to be made? Because you can make online orders from this place and they must like, they have to make what you order. So I'm assuming you can just ask when you go in. That's probably a stupid question, but I didn't have time today because I had to run home for the Amazon man. And then I got some avocado mackie. I'm gonna eat them later because I've barely eaten again today. It's really not good. But yeah, I went to Anthropology. Um, one random thing that I picked up. I don't like all this packaging, but to be fair, I could keep the tissue, reuse it. I needed a hand cream and they had this, this works hand cream. Uh, stress check, kind hands, soothing hand cream for dry over wash hands. So I thought I'll know I'll use that. So I picked up two of these glasses. They've got like bees on them. I just thought these were really cute and I've been eyeing these up for quite a while. I just thought that they look nice. They feel good, good quality. You could get a good glass of juice out of that. So I went for it. I got two big plates with this really really nice pattern around it it's kind of like white but also um can look kind of bluish in some lights i just thought it was really beautiful i love the pattern around the outside and i just wanted to treat myself to some nice plates but i didn't want to get anything that was too crazy patterned i got this cute little side plate in the same pattern and then it has a pattern in the middle as well which is very cute and last but least i got a bowl it just has the same print around the outside giving me like off blue um kind of look and then it's a nice deep bowl i had such a stressful situation when i got home there was a bt guy downstairs who needed access to the building i don't think our phone is working but i also think i just probably don't know how to work it so i went down to let him in and then i was like because i'm here on my own i'm just a bit like nervy all the time all oh, my camera's flashing but basically i didn't know if, if he was going in to murder me i asked to see his id badge because i'm paranoid everything was fine but i stressed um, as usual, I've got contents insurance now, so if I get robbed, everything will be great. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna go and shower and eat my sushi. So I ate my sushi, I finished Pose, I can't wait for the final season to come out um, and I've basically got my room to the point where I'm as happy with it as I can be for the minute but it is nowhere near finished so I'll give you guys finally a quick overview. Okay so here's my door, come in, mediator, little bedside table there, I've got my little um, wax melt burner, then my bed, just put my nice sheets on, as you can see the pillows look so high up, and I've already spilt soy sauce on my duvet, classic. I think for this I'm going to get a bed skirt, because I'm just not a fan of that pattern at all. But then you come around here, and there's just this cupboard, which I haven't really put anything in or sorted out yet but yeah and then I've got my shoe rack which I also had last year I might move this to over there I'm not sure yet then the drawers I built earlier with no top or bottom I'm not gonna get back into that because it was a frustrating time and then I've just got my desk I always have to well I don't always have to but I prefer to work while looking out a window I just find it helps my productivity so I've come and I've put it at the window and I'm happy with it there and then here is going to be a chest of drawers currently it's just that but um yeah I'm hopeful that soon it'll be a chest of drawers and then I'll show you the kitchen so you come in there's a little seating area bit. I'm gonna, um, oh yeah, I didn't show you my own suite. Oh, I will show you guys. Yeah, so you come in, the sofas 
are very torn and we're going to get some throws to put over them. Got your table and then just got our oven, some drawers. Basically just what you'd expect from a kitchen and I'm actually going to make a chai latte. We're in a cupboard. I will do a full tour once it's all completely done which honestly the kettles are going to come on in a minute but yeah that might be for a little while but soon hopefully it'll be fully done. <laughs> some lunch I just did a bunch of uni work in the morning took stuff out to the bins um yeah pretty boring I've got the like temporary wi-fi box um here to set up so I'm also going to do that later but I'm just going to make something to eat I think I'm going to have these squeaky bean scotch eggs I've never tried the squeaky bean ones I love the corn ones but another thing I got um yeah these squeaky bean new york deli pastrami style when i tell you i i missed like meat like this i missed it so much and i saw that tesco came out with this and yeah when i saw they'd come out with this i was needing to find them i found them in a tesco here and i may have eaten basically a whole packet of this on its own yesterday for my lunch because <laughs> i was in a rush which is not good so i'm just about to go out i'm at the mirror in the hall um, I'm yet to put mine up in my room, but I changed into this lazy off long sleeve I did have like a more kind of cropped t-shirt kind of thing on but um, it's not boiling today So I thought I'd put this on and I've, I haven't got to wear this yet. It, it's kind of in my These are clothes for Edinburgh wardrobe. I know that you should wear what you want like Wherever you are, but if you're from a really small place, you will know what I mean. It's quite loud and like, I'm quite comfortable to wear um, whatever I want, but more so in Edinburgh. And then just got some clots on from Zara and my white Converse. This bag is monkey, and then I've got my Great Frog tote bag, because I'm planning on getting some bits. I'm going to go to this shop, kind of Morningside area, so I've got quite a walk. I'll get my steps in, and I need to get some tea. I was going to get it off Amazon, and I was like, no, you're going to go to an independent shop and buy it there. And I'm also probably going to go into m &S on the way home to get something for tea. Okay, I'm back from the shops. I went into m &S and I got some rocket that I hopefully won't freeze in the fridge this time. And then for dinner tonight I got some plant kitchen lasagnas and then I got some pesto because I've been really fancying some pesto pasta as well. I don't have any pasta. I wasn't going to buy pasta in M&S because I was like there is genuinely no difference between a cheaper pasta so I'll get it somewhere else. And then I got some tomato ketchup. Then I went into the shop that does um, my chai tea that I like, just this yogi tea, the classic one favorite and then i went into another tea shop which does loose leaf tea and got um this little tea strainer that i can just put in my mugs because the one i've been using i told her my tea was like falling through and my tea was really bitty and she asked if i was drinking a i don't know how you pronounce it like rubios rubos i don't know that kind of tea and i was like yeah and she was like that'll be why because it's very fine so hopefully this will mean it doesn't fall through and then i went into this really lovely gift shop that i really like because they quite often have grey hair and stuff and i got this gorgeous print 
of these two greyhounds like kissing. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Just made my lasagna. This looks disgusting, but yeah, I got uh, the plant-based lasagna feminist. I'll let you guys know what I think of it. So I've just been sat in bed editing. Excuse my hair. I washed it earlier and I just let it air dry. So it's a bit wild. Um, but yeah, I've just been editing, ate my dinner, and I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I am still here until half past four tomorrow, and I'm seeing one of my friends in the morning for brunch, which I'm really excited about because he's going back to Zambia for a while. Um, so this week was the only opportunity I get to see her until September. I am taking the opportunity to see her tomorrow, which is exciting because since I've been here, I've not actually met up with anyone. I am comfortable in the flat, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just excited to see someone, spend some time with someone. But yeah, then I'm going home at half four tomorrow and I will be back here. Tomorrow's Thursday. I'll be back here next Tuesday. So like five days or whatever it is. Four days, five, five days at home. And then I will probably film moving back in for the second time because that's the time where hopefully the flat will look a bit more like my flat. There's still going to be lots of things that I'm going to want to change. Um, but we'll just have to see. I'm about to make a cup of tea and then watch Love Island.